Alfred Pennyworth is the most famous butler in all of comics. He has worked for Bruce Wayne since Bruce Wayne was born, and was so close to the Wayne family that when Bruce's parents passed away, Alfred raised him as though he was his own son. And he is a crucial part of both the Bat family and Batman's support team in his crusade against crime. It was because of this that his death was engineered in the Injustice universe to weaken Batman's position in his fight against Superman. For full details on how Alfred died, check out the link in this video's description. Now at this point, I should say that this video is entirely about the Injustice universe's Alfred, and not to be confused with any other versions of the character. Now as I said, Alfred is dead in the Injustice universe, but when it comes to comics, death is not so much a closed door, but more of a revolving door, and characters don't stay dead for long or at least the popular ones don't. In this case, Alfred was dead and buried, and had been for some time. He was buried on the Wayne Manor estate alongside Bruce Wayne's parents, as he was very much a surrogate father to Bruce, and arguably had more of an influence on Bruce Wayne than his biological father did. His resurrection begins with Bruce Wayne's son, Damian Wayne. Damien is in prison, having been brought to justice in the first Injustice video game, and is serving time for the crimes he has committed when a prison break is arranged and he is rescued from prison by his mother and his sister. That's right, in the Injustice universe, Batman has two children with Talia al Ghul, Damien Wayne and Athanasia al Ghul. Batman's daughter was unknown to both Bruce Wayne and Damien Wayne, but his mother and his sister are able to break Damien out of jail and get away clean, with Batman being stopped from intervening by another man dressed as Batman. This new Batman's identity is unknown, but the best guess is that he is Jason Todd back from the dead. Though I should say this isn't a certainty as he could later be revealed to be someone else, such as the heretic for example. But anyway, after escaping, Damien then later returns to Wayne Manor and steals the corpse of Alfred, again with Batman not being able to stop this from happening. The man who arranged for Damien's rescue was of course Ra's al Ghul, who famously has cheated death via the use of Lazarus pits, which heal all wounds and can keep a man young for centuries. I have walked this world for nearly six centuries. As you know, I achieved this by bathing in the rejuvenating waters of the Lazarus Pit. And most importantly, the Lazarus Pits can even bring a person back to life. So as I'm sure you've guessed, they submerge Alfred's corpse in the Lazarus Pit and bring him back to life. But only in the strictest sense of the word. Though Alfred is breathing and his heart is beating, he is essentially a vegetable with no higher brain functions at all. Damien is of course disheartened by this, but Ra's al Ghul informs him that it can take a long time for the mind to return to the body, and that he himself once spent an entire year in this state before his mind returned to him. And the only reason Ra's al Ghul was able to get his mind back at all was that his daughter kept taking care of him and didn't give up hope. And he is encouraging Damien Wayne to do the same, not to give up hope and keep taking care of Alfred, because so long as he keeps trying, eventually Alfred's mind will return to him. Now at first you may think that Ra's al Ghul has brought Alfred back for his grandson, as Damien Wayne and Alfred had a very close relationship. And in part, that may be why he did it, but the main reason is to gain leverage over Batman. He informs Batman that if he tries to stop his latest scheme, Alfred will be killed once more. He has also kidnapped several superheroes' children for the same reason. Needless to say, the superheroes don't take kindly to him abducting their children and then holding them as leverage, and so they plan to rescue all those that Ra's al Ghul has held captive. To this end, the superheroes track down Ra's al Ghul's home base. They manage to infiltrate and rescue the children, but Alfred is being held in a different part of the base. Batman locates him, but is confronted by his son Damien. The two are fighting with one another in front of Alfred, and the scene of the two of them like this is the catalyst that Alfred needs to awaken from his vegetative state, and he steps between the two and stops their brawling, and thus Alfred is resurrected in both mind and body. Alfred then becomes the voice of reason between Batman's team and Ra's al Ghul's team, as he attempts to get them to settle their dispute with words and not fists. And after Alfred has finished, the two seem agreeable to trying a peaceful resolution. But unfortunately, at this point, Blue Beetle bursts onto the scene, thinking he is coming in to help rescue Batman's team from the bad guys. But he inadvertently starts the fighting anew, and Ra's al Ghul's base is destroyed in the ensuing battle, along with many of the exotic animals that Ra's al Ghul has kept there, which are the very last of their kind on the planet. Or at least they were, as all of them die in the destruction of Ra's al Ghul's base. This destroys any chance Batman and Ra's al Ghul had a peaceful resolution, and Ra's al Ghul is angrier than ever, and decides to leave the base to attend to the next stage of his plan. He allows Batman and the superheroes to leave with all their captives, and Alfred returns to Wayne Manor with Batman. And that is how Alfred comes back from the dead. I must admit, it's good to see him return to life and to Batman's service. Without Alfred, Batman just isn't the same, and it makes you wonder how Batman even survives without Alfred. 
as he is the only person that really takes care of Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Wayne is terrible at taking care of himself. It's also rather surprising that Ra's al Ghul allows Alfred to use one of his Lazarus pits, as he usually never allows anyone to use them. Though of course, in the past, he has used one to resurrect Jason Todd, so there is a precedent for this. But what do you think of his resurrection? Are you glad that Alfred is back where he belongs at Batman's side? And do you think that this resurrection was the right way for him to return, or that he should have come back in a different way? And more importantly, where do you think this story is going? Do you think that Alfred is back for good, or that something is going to be wrong with him, just as something was wrong with Jason Todd when he was returned from the grave? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I would just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a uh, link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.